Watching YouTube tutorials on how to grow your YouTube channel has become a huge burden for underground YouTubers like me and you who are struggling to build a YouTube platform because there are millions of videos out there and some of them are so confusing. I am not trying to prevent you from watching YouTube tutorials on how to grow your YouTube channel because that is the only way you can learn how to improve skills and then develop new stars into your video. But if you spend too much time watching those videos and then try to implement what they say and nothing is changing, you feel that you cannot do better. And because of that, I'm come to share with you six points that if you're an underground YouTuber and you master those six points very well, you clear your worries and you understand everything that you are doing. I think I didn't introduce myself right for the sake of the new viewers. My name is Dimaj Yusuf. So simple. So check it out. For not wasting much time, let's check those six points. The first point is competition in content creating. Nowadays, millions of people are creating content every single day. So as an underground YouTuber, you should understand that the YouTube channel you know yesterday is not the same YouTube channel you know today. Millions of people are entering into the field and therefore you should understand that you are computing with millions of people. So if you get this point in your mind and you post your video, your video is not getting attention, you will calm down. The next point that you should understand as an underground YouTuber is passion. Whenever you want to enter into this field or into this business, should I say business or fraud, which one is good? Whatever. Whenever you want to enter into this business, you should enter into this field or into this business with passion. If you first enter into this field with the intention of making money, you will stress yourself, especially if you post video and your video is not getting attention. Because your intention of entering into this field was money, you feel depressed. But if you develop passion for your craft, if you love what you are doing, and you post your video, your video is not getting attention. You love it naturally by yourself and therefore you not create yourself. It's not that you don't want something from it. Yes, you want something from it. But first, develop passion for what you are doing. And if you're doing it and luckily something come, you accept it. The next point is GS for making YouTube videos. Nowadays, making YouTube videos are so cheap, do you understand? Your cell phone can shoot the type of video that 1000 camera can shoot. So if you have a cell phone and that phone can do good video and you have the skills of making YouTube videos, you also jump into the fold, you understand? So as an underground YouTuber, just understand that coming out with a result on video has become so cheap and right now everybody is doing it. So where I'm sitting right now, you can check my setup. It's so weird, but we don't mind what is behind the camera, but our focus is the result or what is in front of the camera. The next point is the difference between professional YouTuber and non-professional YouTuber. When you come to the professional YouTubers, everything about their videos are so genuine, starting from the audio quality, the message in the video, the video quality, everything about their video are so genuine. And for these people, whenever they set camera in front of them, they know exactly what they are talking about. They know where to start and when to end. And they know the kind of attention they want and they can do video to catch those attention. Not like me and you as an underground YouTuber that before we come out with one result, we spend the whole day before we can make a single video. So as an underground YouTuber, you should understand that there are professional YouTubers there and then you are with the same people. So if you make your video, and your video is not getting attention, you should understand this point as well. The next point is the main reason why I am making this video, which is fever. If you have the fever of getting views and subscribers, you only need 20% effort to make your video. Just post it, go to bed before you sleep. Everything about your video is so amazing. But if you don't have the fever of getting views and subscribers, even 80% of your effort will never be enough. If you have the favor of getting views and subscribers, even if you puke and you post it on the social media platform, before you wake up the next day, views, comments, subscribe are so amazing. But like I said, if you don't have the favor, you struggle a lot. So I throw this question to you that, do you have the favor of getting views and subscribers or you don't have? I think I should answer this question myself first. I also have the favor because at least I have 300 subscribers <laughs> and this 300 subscribers are human being like me. Do you understand? 
So it means also have the fever, but it's a matter of time. So if you have one or two or three subscribers, you also have the fever, but it's a matter of time. So as an underground YouTuber, just understand the analysis of fever and you overcome your worries. The last point is the theorem of demand and supply. <laughs> now we are in economics, right? Yeah, you can see that now the suppliers of videos are too many more than the demanders. So now the demanders will dig through and search for the professional suppliers before they come to you, the underground, uh, how do you call it, supplier. So as an underground YouTuber, just understand this analysis. And if you combine all these points and you analyze them well and you post your video and your video is not getting attention, you know the reason. You will clear your worries even if you post video and your video is not getting attention. But it's a matter of time and it's a matter of trying your best. If you keep on trying your best, trying your best and nothing is changing, then you should understand that you don't belong to this world. But yes, though, if you insist of making YouTube videos, the job itself will evaporate in you and it's not you who leave the job. <laughs> Do you understand? So if you found something useful in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.